Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Today, I have for you guys an awesome 400k squad builder around the storyline of Tamiyasu. I believe you pronounce it that way. Let me know down below in the comment section. Basically a free card and you do have the option between him and Kasaraz, but Tamiyasu does look a bit better. He's 6'2 and Kasaraz is 5'11", so a bit on the short side. And Tamiyasu also does have 5 short weak foot, 82 pace, 84 defending, 82 dribbling. That's really high for a center back, one of the best defenders in the Serie A. Drop a like on the video if you do enjoy and subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next. And let's go ahead and get into this team. The goalkeeper is going to be Sirigu, a really decent goalkeeper. You can't go off any Serie A player. But for the price, Sergu is the best option. 6 foot 4, quite tall, not too bad at 1v1s. The center back on the right hand side is gonna be Manolas, a really sweaty player, 82 pace, 86 defending, 6 2, 12 k so a fair price. This guy's rapid, has great sprint speed, quite agile, not too bad on the ball either. And defensively, he's a beast, really strong, really aggressive. And the right back, it is gonna be a Prem player, Juan Bezaka, a really decent card. I do have him for chemistry. He isn't the best, but he does play quite well and is definitely usable. 87 pace. 80 defending, 6 feet tall, medium high work rates, great defensively, and not too bad going forward either. You can go ahead and buy his inform. I believe that's about 50k, so not that expensive and definitely worth the upgrade. And the center back on the left hand side, it is gonna be, of course, the storyline Tamiyasu. A really nice card. Looks like one of the best center backs in the Serie A. He does have 82 pace, 86 physical, 84 defending, 6 2, medium high work rates, 5 star weak foot. That really doesn't matter that much for a defender, but it is a pretty big plus and looking at the Ingham stats he has great pace the shooting doesn't matter the passing is quite good 90 passing 86 short pass no complaints there then the dribbling is actually insane for a center back he's really agile has decent balance has really good ball control defensively he's solid 87 stand tackle 80 interceptions that is a bit on the low side but really isn't an issue especially for chemistry style then physically he does have 91 strength 83 aggression overall this guy really has no cons the only minor kind he does have is getting him into a team. There really aren't any good strong links, so go ahead and surround him around Serie A players. But other than that, this guy's fantastic. One of the best center backs in the Serie A. I would put him on the same level of the Scream Run Magnoli. Even a bit better, that 5 star weak foot gives him a plus, and he feels a bit more agile. If you guys have this card, definitely use him. I would put him on the same level of like Varon, Sergio Ramos, Edermo Otao. This guy is very good. Definitely worth using in weekend league and division rivals. And the final defender, the left back, it is going to be Alexandro. One of the top left backs on the game. Has had a bit of a pace downgrade, but still quite usable. Every step of 70 other than shooting. 5'11", so fairly tall. Really good on the ball. Has a nice stamina. Defensively, he's solid. 84 stand tackle, 82 interceptions. Again, the pace isn't the best, but just go ahead and add a chemistry style and you're good. And that right there has been the back line. The CDM is going to be my favorite CDM on the game. That is going to be Alan. Now this guy is broken. He's basically a cheap Kante. Every stab of 75, 9, medium high work rates, 4 shot skills. Very good on the ball surprisingly. Defensively he's incredible, intercepts everything. Has 94 stamina so he doesn't get tired. Nice passing, a decent shot on him. You really can't go wrong for the price, only about 10k. And the center mid on the right hand side is going to be the most expensive player. That is going to be Pogba. Now this guy I feel like is a bit underrated on FIFA nowadays. Not too many people use him, I'm not too sure why. It might be the work grades, they're not the best. But they're a lot better than last year. I believe last year he did have high low. So high medium isn't that bad. Especially playing him as a CDM. If you put him on stay back while attacking. That really wasn't an issue. And he's quite well rounded. Almost every stab of 70. He can attack. He can defend. Has 4 shot weak foot. 5 shot skills. 6 foot 3. This guy is a tank in that midfield. Decent pace. A nice shot on him. Nice passing. Okay on the ball. He is kind of clunky. Defensively he's solid. Has a great stamina, really good strength. This guy just bullies anyone off of the ball. For 150k, definitely worth the price tag. You can also go ahead and buy someone like Sizoko and go ahead and put Oria right back. Sizoko is actually about on the same level of Pogba this year in my opinion. But Pogba just is a more fun player to use. And I really hadn't used him yet. And I wanted to go ahead and try him out in this team. And this guy was fantastic. Then the center mid on the left hand side, it is going to be a center forward. That is going to be Firmino. He's been quite good over the past few years. He does have 
have 77 pace, 80 passing, 87 dribbling, has decent defending, plays really well as a center mid, high high work rates, 4 star, 4 star. You can also go off for Bino if you don't want a more defensive player, but I did go off for Amino as I can play him at cam or center mid. If I want to play him as a central cam in the 4 2 3 1 or as a center mid in the 4 1 2 1 2 second variation. So then the left wing, it is going to be his teammate Mane. Now this guy's broken this year and he's about 130k so not that expensive anymore. He dropped in price quite a bit over the past few days and I think that's actually quite cheap considering how well he plays in game. 94 pace, 80 through shooting, 80 at dribbling, 74 physical, high medium work rates, 4 star 4 star. This guy just has everything, rapid pace, decent finishing and actually not that weak, quite aggressive and has an incredible agility and balance, really good reactions. You can play him as a striker or as a cam, this guy does so much damage, scores me so many goals, unstoppable sometimes, definitely worth the price tag. In the right wing, it is going to be Dembele, another broken player, 93 pace, 5 star weak foot, 5 star skills, a really fun player to use, really meta, rapid pace, decent finishing this year. Nice passing on the ball. This guy is really smooth, really agile. The only issue is the stamina, but it isn't that bad. And you really don't need that much stamina for a forward. So the final player, the striker, it is going to be Griezmann. A really effective player this year. Not the best pace, but it is good enough. Three star weak foot, but an amazing left foot. This guy has a crazy finesse shot. High high work rates. Helps out quite a bit defensively. And on the attack, this guy's insane. Has incredible ball control. Very agile. Not the weakest player either. So that right there has been the team built for about 400k. An awesome team. In game, I do play in the 4 2 3 1. Alan and Pogba play as the CDMs. Then Dumbele, Griezmann, and Firmino as a cams. And as striker Mane. You can play Griezmann as striker and play Mane as a cam. But it is better playing Mane as a striker as he has rapid pace. And he is kind of wasted as a cam. Now, you guys can, of course, always play in the 4 1 2 1 2 second variation. Play Alan as a CDM, Dumbele as a cam. Either formation does work. I usually switch in between both. And I was showing you guys my player instructions. I set the right back on left back. I stay back while attacking, the CDMs on cut passing lane stay back while attacking and cover center, the cams on stay forward, then the striker on stay forward, stay central and get him behind. Those right there are my player instructions, go ahead and copy them, see if they work for you. And again that right there has been the team built, an awesome team for 400k. This Tamiyasu card is an amazing card, definitely usable in division rivals and weekend league. In my opinion the best center back in the Serie A, this guy has everything, the pace, the height, he's quite agile, defensively solid, really strong and that 5 star week foot that's a plus hopefully you guys have enjoyed leave a like on the video if you have subscribe if you're new it's been etg and i'll see you guys next time peace out